I am in the home of Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Children of Route 2 Quarter, about six miles west, southwest of Quarter. Mr. Childress is the brother of Mr. Norman Childress, who was in command of the German prisoners during World War II. Mr. Childress, what type of contact did you have with the prisoners? Well, we, we, uh, uh, they did rather, they divided them up in different groups and, in order for them to go around for all the farmers. And I'd get 25 one day and then possibly the next day I wouldn't get in and a day or two later I'd get 25 men again. And we, we farmed spinach and cotton. We, we used them to cut the spinach with before we had machinery to cut it with, cut it by hand in baskets. And the cotton back then we didn't have cotton pickers and we we just picked the cotton the old fashioned way in thick sacks and waited in the field and we'd give them a give them their weights down on paper or something other because they wasn't allowed to have the money and the prisoners wasn't. And we'd have to give money to the superiors and then they'd give them what they wanted them to have. I think maybe that might cover that portion of it. Approximately how many prisoners did you have at one time working? Twenty five. So I twenty twenty five. That's all that's allowed any 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 particular day, but then I could have twenty five again in two or three days just trying to make them there's about six groups of twenty five in quarter camp, which is about hundred and fifty men and they had to divide them up among all the farmers because we couldn't get labor in those days. Harlan we was, was glad to get them. I believe that answers that. Did you have a basket or something you were telling me? Uh, I mean, a, a little quarter uh, painted where you had your name? And yes. <clears throat> In cutting Spanish, we had tickets we gave them. And they were built brown, about the size of a half a dollar, and had our name on it. And uh, we'd issue a ticket every time they cut 20 pounds of spinach. And uh, that way, again, like I said a while ago, uh, they wasn't allowed to have the money on it, what, what the government allowed them to buy with their money. They, They'd take all the money and pull it and then reallocate it out to them after they got back to their camp. How many acres of land do you have? At that time, I was farming about 800 acres. What is your present acres now? Uh, I'm just, I've cut way back now. I'm down to about 300 acres now, I guess. And, uh, I specialize in spinach, and you don't need very many acres when you're growing spinach. Lots of extra work to do here. And I can make more now farming this 300 acres than I could then days farming 800. Mrs. Childress, you told me something about uh, one of the people came back here about 1953 was. Uh, yes, uh, he dropped by and uh, he liked it so well and liked the American way. It was so much better and so much more freedom and things. So uh, he established the bakery the way I understood. It. And uh, he came by and spent the night. And uh, he ate with us. And he kept one of these uh, little tickets with my husband's name on it. And that's the way that he found out, you know, kept in contact uh, because. Uh, we felt towards them, uh, or I did when they were working, that, uh, oh, I thought of our boys and how they should be treated, and I'm sure Gordon did the same, and we didn't uh, show any harsh treatment toward them, and in fact, I felt pity and thought of their families and things of that sort. Did he, um, contact you after uh, we got a letter from him yes uh we got a letter from him and uh 
some way I got his uh, address in this place and haven't found it and haven't gotten in contact with him as of yet. But at that time, he had, to my knowledge, he had lost his family and uh, that he just liked the United States and had come back and he had been in California at this bakery for about a year and uh, that he was going to get his citizenship. In fact, I, I'm sure by now that if he is still with it, he has. Thank you so much.